Hello guys, Lord Redstone here, and I am in the new Iron Pickaxe server with my buddy Copy Glitch, and uh, there's quite a few people here with us. We got Dober Fitz, Roach Coach 11, Kathleen, and Caitlin, and Elizabeth, and uh, usually there's more of the people than this, but it's a little late tonight, and I uh, wanted to get this video made so I can have it up first thing in the morning. And uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing just standing around. Let's see what y'all think about this. This is my house. The windows actually open and shut. And uh, oh, let's take out this zombie right quick. We got a little pet slime over here. We call him uh, Slurms McKenzie after the slime dude off of Futurama, in case y'all didn't notice. <laughs> That's where we get all our slimes at over there in the swamp. Made that little beacon light right there so people can see this place easily at nighttime. And during the daytime, it just stays on. It don't blink on and off at nighttime. It just blinks on and off. My obsidian generator right here. I had to recreate this thing because uh, dispensers are no longer a bud switch after the update. So I mean, it's a little bit more complicated, but still works just the same. Let's go through here right quick. <laughs> Locked him out. Check out my bed over here. Nothing special to it. And just put my bed down over here. And then um, give y'all a look at some of the junk I got saved up up here. Come over here and show y'all my uh, fireplace. Turn it off. Turn it on. Now, usually you have to have fire chargers to light this thing up. Let me show you what we used this time. Now, they didn't mention this in the update, but... You can do this on the PC, so I was pretty sure that they put it in the update. Use flint and steel to light all your fires from now on. It's a whole lot easier. So you, uh, this is a automatic potion brewing lab. This is Ethos design. Just changed it up a little bit for myself here. Sort of fit my needs over here. And uh, let's take out. The, I think you're supposed to take out the main ingredient and that ingredient, that ingredient. What the hell? I should have left that, that nether wart in there. Went past it. Oh, I did it again. It reminds me of the pictures. Let's get rid of this junk. Yeah, I'm going to keep them golden apples on me. I breed a whole lot of horses. I breed super horses. I want to do a show on that, too. My super horses can run super fast. Check out all them potions. They can run super fast and they can jump four blocks. Yeah, it's, it's making our night vision potions right now. We're about to run out of golden carrots up there. And let that get done. We need to add our buffers to it. Let's take that out. I'm going to turn it off. It's going way too fast for me. No main ingredients up there. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Two pieces of nether wart with aqua potion in the bottom. It has a trailing nether wart thanks to Etho. Smart man, smart, smart man. Yeah, now it's ready. So what we do is we put our in main ingredient up here in this dropper. That'll, that'll do like six potions non-stop. We just flick it on, gets rid of those bottles, put new bottles in there, and it starts brewing your potions for you non-stop. And then you just choose what buffers you want to add. The first one will be plain potions. The second one will be mm, night vision, last longer, and uh, with a splash potion effect. And we'll come back to this here in just a little bit and let you see what it does. When it's done, there should be redstone dust in the top. It'll stop automatically. Come over here and um, show y'all my auto smelter here. 64 blocks of coal in there. There's no duplication on this server, so everything in this server is 100% legit. No, no BSing. 
But uh, you put something in there to smelt, and it'll automatically pull it down in here or smelt it for you. And then after it gets through smelting right here, to go down into the collection box at the bottom here. There it is. I got one of these set up for the whole server. It's a bigger set there. A bunch of junk up in here. All my name tags and my horse armor and stuff. I go mining a lot. So I have like way more resources than I could ever use. It's already on the second potion set. Put the Risto dust in there and make it one of the six minute potions. Or it'll be eight minute potion and then the splash potion, the gunpowder, and make it into a six minute splash potion. And those are the ones that just got the brewing. Go ahead and drink that. <laughs> Let's get rid of this bottle. I ain't got a trash can down here yet because I have so much redstone everywhere. There's two different aisles of this. This right here is my miscellaneous chest. This is where everything I don't have an item hopper set up for goes. You just put everything in this chest right here and it automatically sorts it all out for you. Let's put some redstone up there and some oak leaves. Let's do that. I'm a little under the weather, guys, this morning, so uh, do me a favor and uh, overlook it right now. <laughs> any minute now it's a long line of hoppers so it takes a minute there we go and after that gets done it'll come over here and it'll start counting out the oak leaves somewhere in here it'll go right there actually that's the first empty slot and voila there we go show you my buddy's snow golem here. He named it Frosty the Snow Golem. <laughs> show you our pet spiders over here. This is my buddy Copy Glitch's pet spider. It's uh, the name of it Spider-Man. You can't see the name for some reason right now. I guess because it's behind that glass. Close that up. <laughs> and then this is my spider. I found this spider in the swamp over there and for some reason. Most spiders that spawn in the swamp have a special effect on them and there's a bunch of invisible spiders running around, so I grabbed me one of those and named it and kept it for a pet. And you remember that old movie with the invisible rabbit named Harvey? Yeah. That's what I named him after. If you don't know, Google it. All these are completely separated. I'm going to make this uh, storage room about three or four times the size. I'm going to run it down and back. Having a little set of stairs. I haven't decorated much in here yet. The server's only about a week old. But I have been working very hard on this. That's the reason there hasn't been any videos uploaded here lately. The server's new and I wanted to kind of get my foot in the door. And that, now it's ready for the next uh, potion. All we have to do is just turn off our buffers there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, uh, oh yeah, let me show y'all my windows that open and close. All of them do this, not just this one, all of them in here. They open and close. Turn that off. But yeah, it's so hot in here. <laughs> close that window. All these windows open and shut. Oh look, he's got some enchanted chainmail on. Let's kill him, see what we can get. Nothing. 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 Didn't get nothing. Walk around here and show y'all my little horse stable. This is what I got set up right now. I'll be doing a video on this every couple of days. So yeah, get just to give y'all a heads up on what we've been doing. This is my horse Sly, and that's my horse Mufasa right there in the background, and that's their baby Royal. These two horses right here are my super horses. They run super fast and they jump four blocks, no problem. Just put that up and uh, put my saddle on right quick. They pick up that little lead. Where to go? Where to go? There it is. We go through here and uh, show y'all my little horse door. It goes down for three seconds. It stays down. All right, and it comes back up. And this is my little speed booth over here, and uh, this is it for part one. Please tune in for part two. 
where I get to show you the rest of this wonderful server. Until next time, goodbye everybody.